for from Top Vocalist of the Year to Entertainer of the Year. We had a lot of awards to hand out. Yeah, we're talking about who took home all of those trophies. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Twilan Nugent is live with the country experts at WIRK. Hey, Twilan. Good morning, Ed and Katie. We've been talking CMAs all day, but what everyone has been waiting for all day to talk about is Beyonce and the Dixie Chicks. Dale here at WYRK has very strong thoughts about that this morning. Tell us, sum it up real quick, what you think? I hated it. I, I, I thought it was one of the best uh, award shows that I've seen in a long time. And then Beyonce comes out, uh, and I'm thinking, oh, all right, this, this should be interesting. I love Beyonce. But then she comes out with the Dixie Chicks, who have separated themselves from country music 10 years ago. Ago. And uh, and then Beyonce did a self-serving song. I, I didn't see what it added to the show. I thought I thought it was just ridiculous. I was so much looking forward to Beyonce's performance. I thought maybe she's going to do a, a cover of uh, you know a famous song from from years ago. No, she does Daddy Lessons from her own album. Forget it. I hated it. Dale's got a lot to say about this. If you want to hear more about it, guys, tune in to 106.5 WYRK this morning. They're talking CMAs and everything else here. But thanks for joining us. We're talking about the CMAs as well in the WYRK. Okay, studios. I'm Twila Nugent, Seven Eyewitness News. Oh my God, <laughs> that was on fire! Can we go back to Liz Mantel's face too? Oh my that God, was so funny! If there was oh an goodness. emoji for Liz Mantel, it would be this one. <laughs> right? Holy I use that one a lot, actually, oh sitting next gosh. to you here. At Unreal.